everyone, it's Linda Kanasi with iCrafter with a special project using our milk carton box together with some other dice to create something rather unique. So what we're going to use is the die, the main die from the milk carton box. This is designed by Lori Whitlock for iCrafter. Another die we are going to use is um, this doily shape. And that is from our Impossible Box Valentine add-on set. And this has several different shapes that are really fun to use, but we're going to use primarily this large doily. And it works with our Impossible Box base, but in this case, we're just using the doily. And then this is from our Ribbon Rosette Valentine add-on set. And this is the word sweetheart here and it cuts this heart shape and these are designed to work with our ribbon rosette uh, main die but again I want to share with you how you can use these pieces without the main base die so we're going to start off with the box itself the milk carton box other supplies you will need for this is a ruler a pencil some liquid uh, liquid adhesive is probably best and then I'm going to use some um, washi tape just for added embellishment. And then I have two sh uh, pink, a red, and a white piece of cardstock that I'm going to die cut with this. So let me go ahead and die cut these pieces and I'll be right back. Now that we have those pieces die cut, we're going to begin by first off adding some washi tape pattern while this piece is still flat. So let's kind of decide. What I'm going to do is put the sweetheart die in the center, and this is going to be a little off center. So I want to start by adding the thickest washi tape first. And these are just kind of a really pretty um, Valentine themed washi tape. So I'm going to start with it, just kind of going across the bottom, and I'm eyeballing it slightly above the bottom line there. And because I want it to align across, I'm going to try and do it around the same height them down to about here. And the beauty of washi tape is, of course, it's repositionable. So if I didn't get that right, kind of measuring it, oh, that looks pretty good. And measuring it on this side looks pretty good. Okay. Now, I can go on if I want to and add some more, some of these little pieces. Now, one of the things is I don't want to make it too, too busy looking. I'm going to stop with just the one. You can add extra pieces of washi tape in different thicknesses if you wish. I'm not going to. Um, what I am going to do is cut off flush with the sides. And actually a good hint is to do it from the back side because you could see it much better and I did not push it down hard enough but you kind of get the idea I want to burnish it down okay so that is embellishing it before we go on to the next step next thing we're going to do and this is kind of unusual is we're going to take our ruler and our pencil and on this tab up here this top piece as you can see it is we're going to see that it is two inches wide and we're going to mark it at the one inch mark okay so right down the middle here same thing with this side we're going to do the one inch mark okay and you can always erase that so don't panic um, and I'm going to burnish this down better and now I'm just going to start folding along the crease lines now as you're folding 
The other thing to be aware of is you want them to be nice crisp folds. So I recommend our eye press burnisher, which is it has a flat end like a bone folder, but then it also comes conveniently with a ball end so you could shape flowers. It comes with a separate um, foam pad to create flowers or to shape paper. Now we're going to also do these vertical folds across here and just kind of go across it carefully. Okay. So I'm going to fold these and this and you're going to repeat this on both pieces. But you will also see up here there are diagonal folds. So we're going to fold those into valley folds. So we're going to fold it back on itself. And this one is a little tricky because there is this fold here. So you want to um, fold it back. You could put your nail in there if you want and fold it back on itself. And you again want to make sure you do this nice and crisp. So it's slightly awkward, but you can do it at an angle like that and an angle like that. Now I'm going to repeat the same folds on this side. both of those pieces ready we are going to glue along the side tabs and let me go ahead I like using my liquid adhesive just have a little more control but you can also use like a very strong um, tape And you want to line it up and adhere it all the way up. Okay. Now you want to flip it over, give it another good press, and then you're going to turn this one in and this one in. And again, you'll see you have your tabs here, and you just repeat it and put the adhesive down here. And you do want to use a fairly strong adhesive. And you just line that up and press that down. Now you want it to set for just a bit so that you have a good hold. And then what we're going to do is just to make sure this is square because this one doesn't you're going to want to press it this way. So just to make sure it's square. You want to do it before it completely sets, but yet you don't want to do it too soon where it'll come apart. So, and here's another good time. You can use your burnisher again. Make sure all these folds are nice and crisp. Okay, so now we have our square. We're going to do this one again. Okay, so now we have like a tube. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to describe it. So now we're going to glue the bottom down and 
really just a matter of overlapping those two. You can add a little adhesive actually on the edge of this because there is an overlap. And the same thing with this way. You can, um, if you want to do extra strong, you can add some adhesive down all along in here and then just a little bit right there and just glue it shut. And here's another beautiful thing about our eye press burnisher is that this long flat end works really well pushing down inside there. So you can get those tight little flat corners and just make sure you press into those tight corners because there's no way you're going to get any fingers in there. So if you want it to hold nice and crisp and get a really good square, use the eye press burnisher. Now, we're going to embellish this before we go any further. The side with one of the points, we're going to add the heart. Okay, And this is a real simple, just adding some adhesive. Okay. And I'm just going to glue this down right in the middle. Right there. Now here again, to make sure it holds down flat, I'm going to turn it over so it's flat on its surface and then use my burnisher to press it down. Okay. So now we have the sweetheart and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the doily so that it wraps around. I just wanted something that was um, a little bit different and this doily I'm just going to draw or hold it hold a ruler on there and you can actually do this again with your burnisher you hold the ruler down and you start the bend with the burnisher you see what I'm doing there that gives it a nice hard edge so it's there's our doily and we're going to just add it overlapping there just for a little more decoration okay and i'm just using liquid adhesive I'm just using take being a little patient and going around okay now once you have that make sure you have it on the side that you want and just close it up there and hold it down. You don't want to go above the crease line there. But now we have the doily on it. And now comes the really fun part. Now, normally, okay, on the top of the box, these two flaps would fold outwards You'd fold this together and then you'd glue this shut, right? Well, here's a fun little trick I just dis I discovered with this box is remember how we marked the half or two one inch mark there? We're going to put adhesive on the inside part of this from that half inch mark. So from here, Okay, so we're not going past the half in or the halfway mark, so it's one inch in, and we're just putting adhesive and we're going to close it up like so. And it's just glued on one side. Okay, this side is not glued, this side is along this top tab. And we're doing it on the back side. So if this is the front, we're gluing from the back side over here, the black back half of this top tab. Now, I want it to set really well, so I'm just going to let it sit there for one second. Now, here's where I want to show you the fun thing you can do with this, okay? Is that you can fold these open, and you want to make sure this back part's dry before you start doing this. You could fold this open like a regular milk carton, and it pops open just like a real, real milk carton. So you can pour, you can fill it with candy and pour it out. Again, you should let this back part portion 
a really good adhesive and let it dry completely. Another thing is you can make sure and erase that little pencil mark. I just wanted to share with everyone, you can make this into a real milk carton. Or please don't add milk to it, but you could fill it with candies or treats and just pour it out. Is that too cute? So that, that is the milk carton box from iCrafter, functioning as a real pouring little milk carton for your sweetheart. Super simple. How easy is that? You could make a ton of these for your friends and just fill them with little candy treats. It would be absolutely adorable. Thank you so much for watching and be sure and watch for more videos on our YouTube channel, which is iCrafter Art. And uh, subscribe, follow, like, and just be a part of the iCrafter family. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.